Virgin Voyages really is that girl. There's no buffet. You don't gotta go grab and serve yourself. Is Virgin Voyages really an all-inclusive cruise line? Today we're going to go through everything that is included on Virgin Voyages, whether you are sailing on the Resilient Lady, the Valiant Lady, the Scarlet Lady, or soon to be on the Brilliant Lady, this video is going to help you navigate your first Virgin Voyages cruise. I went on my first Virgin Voyage back in March and I can't stop thinking about it. Now as you know, Virgin Voyages is not a family cruise line. This is for adults only and I mean only adults. You have to be 18 and over to sail on Virgin Voyages. Can I get a whoop whoop? Yes, I was so excited about this and that's one of the main reasons why I love Virgin Voyages and why you should consider sailing with them. My cruise was out of San Juan and it went to Barbados, St. Lucia, Antigua. It went to five different ports and so they have a variety of itineraries on Virgin Voyages. But let's talk about what's included on your sailing. So the first thing that is included on Virgin Voyages that is not standard on any other cruise line is included Wi-Fi. So you're able to text, you're able to go on social media, you're able to check your emails, go on the internet and browse, and it's included in the cost of your fare. I'm someone who normally likes to be unplugged, but it was so nice to still be able to text people when I felt like it, go on social media. I don't really go on it a lot when I'm on vacation, but just having that availability and option that is included in your fare is amazing. The next thing and the most important to me thing that is included on your Virgin Voyages cruise is the food on board. And let me tell you, the food is amazing. They have menus curated by Michelin star chef. So these menus are not your average menu. They are very nice things that they have in these restaurants. And there is no buffet. There's no buffet. You don't gotta go grab and serve yourself. They have what they call the galley, which is essentially a food court where you can go to different eateries and try different things. Whether you want tacos, burgers, sandwiches, salads, you don't have to serve yourself. You don't have to grab the spoon that everyone else is grabbing in the buffet line, like on other cruise lines. There are staff from Virgin Voyages at each of the eateries that are serving you. And you can make your own omelet any time of the day, by the way. They don't just have omelets in the morning. You can get breakfast any day at the galley. And trust me, that's just cool to have. Like, who doesn't want some bacon in the middle of the night? So whether you want cookies, fruit, salad, the galley has it. And then let's get into the restaurants that are included, y'all, included in the cost of your cruise. You don't have to pay extra. They have pink agave. They have the wake. They have extra virgin, razzle dazzle, gun bay, which is like Korean barbecue. And they have test kitchen. You really, all the restaurants are amazing. My favorite personally, were Extra Virgin and Pink Agave. I went to both of those restaurants twice on my seven day sailing, but all the restaurants are great. Some of my favorites at Extra Virgin were the oxtail pasta, and then at the wake, you gotta try the bread. The bread that they give you is so good. I'll insert a picture of it right here, but that bread is really good. And so you really just gotta try everything out. Every restaurant is unique and the menus are good. The food to me was amazing. Even in the galley, the food was good. And then other than the galley and all the restaurants, you can get ice cream from Lick Me Till Ice Cream. <laughs> and then you can also get pizza from the pizza parlor. You can also go to the dock where they have the dock house. So that's kind of like your Mediterranean style food. So there really are a lot of options. You don't have to go to a main dining room for a long time. The service is pretty fast. The next thing that is included on Virgin Voyages are the tips or gratuities. So normally for other cruise lines, you can prepay gratuities or they'll add that charge on your sailing, but it's already factored into the cost of your cruise. So you don't have to worry about doing that in addition to your cruise fare. The next thing that is included on Virgin Voyages are soda, water, coffee, and tea. Normally with other cruise lines, you have to pay for sodas, but on Virgin Voyages, you do not. Also, what I did love about Virgin Voyages is they have, you know, strawberry water, pineapple water, all different type of fruit water so that you don't have to just drink regular water, tap water. They have that fruit infused water, which I absolutely love. Another feature of Virgin Voyages that is included in your fare are all the group fitness classes. So you can do spinning or cycling, yoga, strength training. There really are a plethora of fitness classes, which I definitely took advantage of. 
I definitely did boot camp, which had me sore for a long time. I did a cycling class, I did boot camp or strength workout, and I also did yoga. They don't play up in there though. The workout classes are not a piece of cake, and I definitely earned my food that I ate afterwards from all the work that I put in when I worked out, but all of them are included. You just have to reserve your spot by using the Virgin Voyages app while on board. Another benefit of Virgin Voyages is being able to change the name on the reservation up to 48 hours prior to the cruise. So normally if you need to change names, you're gonna have to have a fee and there's limits on the timing of when you can do that. But with Virgin Voyages, they have flexible name changes. So if you have an emergency or just have something that comes up, you or someone else um, on your sailing, you're able to change the name on that sailing up to 48 hours prior to departure. So that's an amazing benefit you know, that flexibility if you need it. And another thing that is included in your cost of your fare is being able to change your voyage date within 45 days out of the cruise. So same with the name changes up to 48 hours prior to the cruise. If you decide you wanna go somewhere else or maybe you haven't gotten flights and you're kinda of last minute and now the flights are too high to the cruise that you booked, you're able to change that voyage within that 45 day mark of the cruise. So that flexibility is honestly amazing. I've never had to use it, but I think it's good for people that, you know, something may come up where they can't go on the cruise anymore and they're able to just change it to another date. That is also amazing feature that only Virgin Voyages has. That is not an extra charge for you to do so. So if you're thinking about going on Virgin Voyages, I hope this helps. I'd be happy to share more about all the food options and everything about my experience that I had on Virgin Voyages because I definitely want to sell with them again and you definitely should, especially if you're looking for a child-free, kid-free vacation with an adult atmosphere, more elevated luxury atmosphere, with amazing food, group fitness classes, Virgin Voyages really is that girl. But if you're someone that wants to travel with your family and are open to Carnival Cruise Line, I do have several videos about what's included on Carnival Cruise, what's not included on Carnival, so you can check those out if that sounds interesting to you. I'm not a travel agent, but I'm someone that loves to travel, whether it is going to a resort, going to a major city, or going on a cruise. So if you are interested in traveling, but want some inspiration, I'm here to inspire you to book that trip and to give you all the information that'll help you out when you're deciding where to go and how to travel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.